Hello, humanity students. This is a demonstration video on how to begin using iMovie, and in this case, to create your commercials. So, let's get cracking. First off, you download iMovie successfully, and then you open up the file. So here's what it looks like for me. Now, the first thing that I would do is I would go up to file and I'd create a new movie. And I'm going to, I don't need a theme really, I'm going to call it commercial. Okay, there it is. Now I'm going to need some media, and I'm guessing you have filmed various scenes on your smartphones, and so just somehow put that into a Dropbox or upload it to the cloud or, or send it to yourself or plug into your device or something. Get those videos off your phone and onto your, uh, your computer. So import media. I've already, uh, today after school, I filmed a couple short little videos. Here they both are. I will import both of those videos. And also, to show you that you can use photos as well as videos, I'm going to import one of those. Um, this one. Okay, good. So I have some items here, uh, obviously uploaded to this day. Here's my movie file. Great. So um, up here is sort of your... Uh, um, your storyboard maybe? I don't know. This is what your actual movie is down here. So these are all the files you upload that you can use. And you can play them up here to see what they are. So I can uh, click it and then I can hit space to play it. Hello. This is video number one. Yeah. Didn't have any ideas. Hello, my royal subjects. No, keep going. And then, of course, I'll get to the actual photo file as well. All right, great. So let's say I want to start off with the titles. So down here in the bottom left corner, there are titles. I'm going to go with... And you can actually like just slide your cursor to see what it looks like, or you can, again, click in and hit the space bar to play, uh, especially if they have weird effects like this one. We'll do this one. This looks quirky. You drag it down here, and there it is. Okay, so you can add the title. I'll make it commercial. Awesome. And you hit the space bar, then down here, it's the same thing as it was up here. You can play through the whole thing and see what it looks like. Let's say that's a really long introduction and I want to shrink it. I just grab it and I drag it and then now it's going to be condensed to 1.4 seconds. Commercial. Ta-da. All right. So let's go back um, out of the title section. Let's actually, let's go to transitions. So I'll transition from this title into my first video clip and I'll just randomly use, I'll do fade to white so it's very noticeable. And something else, um, these will start to organize themselves. You can adjust the how it looks down here. So for example, if your commercial gets really, really long, you probably want to drag it like this so you can see more of your commercial and not have to constantly scroll left and right. Uh, for this project being only 60 seconds, maybe a little more than that, I, I don't think it's going to be a big problem. All right, so anyway, let's go back to where I have these videos. Let's say I want to use this video and let's say I'll play it. Hello, this is video number... Okay, so there's a lot of awkward pausing before I start, so I'm going to just watch it and see... Okay, there's where my little hand guy starts to talk. And I'm going to start it here. I'm going to hold down the cursor button, the left button, and I'm going to drag it to probably where it stops. So there he stops talking. Boom. Drag that, put it down here. Bam. Commercial. Hello, this is video number one. Okay, great. And let's say I want to have another transition, or no, you know what, no transition this time. Um, I'll just take this then, and let's say I'm just going to take the whole video file. Oops, that didn't work. Well, I wonder if I can just click the add button, if that's going to do it. It does, okay. So let's say down here I realize... What? Royal subjects? Oh, nope, that only took a part of it, so that's problematic for me. I'm just going to delete it and try again. Okay, let's say I dra drag the whole thing down here. Play it. What? Hello, my royal subjects. So the kissy face at the end, I don't really like. So let's kind of subjects. There's where it stops. Right about here, I'm going to drag the end of this. Okay, Google Drive. Goodbye. And I'm going to shrink this up a little bit. About to there. Subjects. Stop. Okay, so now it should cut off right where I want it to. Hello, my royal subjects. All right, great. Let's say I want to add some music. Go to sound effects. Okay. I'm going to drag this down here. At the very bottom, you see that little music sign? The, uh, what would they be? Eighth notes? No. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. Uh, just like that. 
Okay, and now when you play it. Hello, this is video number one. And you can hit spacebar to pause, by the way. Okay, so now what I realize is that music's kind of loud, and I think you're going to have this problem because you're recording on your phones, and you might be a little quiet. So you can adjust the volumes as well. This makes it louder. This makes it softer. You can also, without hopefully getting feedback, you can adjust the volume of your video clips. That's probably going to be a little too loud. We'll see. Hello. This is video number one. Hello, my royal subjects. Beautiful. Wow, what a great video. Okay. And so now let's go back to this, and here's that picture. So let's say you have an image of your product or something that you want to superimpose over top of your video files. Just grab it, drag it, and let's say I want to put it right here. So it goes, Hello, my royal subjects. And let's say I don't want to have it be this long, so I'm going to shrink it and have it be just this little part. Hello, my royal subjects. Good. Okay, I'm happy with that. And if you don't like the whole zoom effect, you can click it, and then up here where it's blue, everything else is gray, click that. It has it as Ken Burns right now, which sort of does the whole zooming in documentary style. But you can also do like crop the fit, or I'm sorry, crop the fill or fit. Um, I can, I'll do it that way. And then if I play it, hello, my royal it's just subjects. a static image. All right, so hopefully that helps you. Once you're done with your entire video, you just go up here to share. And because I want the file, I would click File, and Next, and you're just going to choose the destination, which will be the desktop. Okay, hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know. Thanks.